okay, Houston, I see you. On a day where the Houston Texans were technically a home underdog, they crush the Cleveland Browns by a score of 45 to 14 on a day that CJ Stroud became the youngest quarterback to ever win a playoff game. He beat the number one defense in the NFL so badly that he was on the sideline done for the day with 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. I don't think it would have been a shock to see Houston win this game. I did pick Cleveland, Mia culpa. That's my bad. Wouldn't have been shocked to see Houston win this game closely Two evenly matched teams, but to thoroughly dismantle the Cleveland Browns the way they did. They had 286 yards at halftime. They would have finished with well over 400 if they had needed to play their starters. And it all comes back to the number two overall pick, the offensive rookie of the year. I'm calling it now, whatever. Sue me. CJ Stroud, three touchdowns on the day through almost as many touchdowns as incompletions, 16 of 21 for 274, looked like an all pro, the first rookie to ever beat the number one defense in the league in a playoff game. It just seems like there's no moment that this guy can't rise to. I think people are going to draw up comparisons to the way he played in that college football playoff game against Georgia, the game that really launched him into the possibly number one overall pick conversation that day against the best defense in college football, 348 yards and four touchdowns in a narrow loss. This is a higher degree of difficulty arguably a bigger stage, the NFL playoffs. It's the pro level. It seems like no matter how big the moment is, CJ Stroud is going to rise to it. He honestly didn't need to do that much after halftime though. Pick sixes of Joe Flacco by Steven Nelson and Christian Harris made this thing a laugher in the blink of an eye midway through the third quarter. It was over just as quickly as it had started. And look, Turnovers had been Flacco's fatal flaw during this whole magical run. So it's not a surprise to see him throw a couple to Houston, but I hope he doesn't turn in to some kind of scapegoat in this whole situation because way more than Joe Flacco throwing those two picks when the Browns were already trailing. What a dismal day from what we consider the best defense in the NFL. Miles Garrett, very likely to win defensive player of the year, or at least has a strong case. This was a defense that had made life so tough on so many teams. They allowed eight yards per play in this game, almost a first down every time Houston snapped the ball. They gave up five different games of gains of 27 or more yards, a dismal day at the office for Cleveland and their season's over now. Congrats to the Houston Texans for taking it to them. And they are on to the second round of the playoffs.